Well guys, today is the day. We're finally starting work in the interior of the Troopy. The previous owner has this pretty functional build going on in here already. And what we're gonna do is rip it all out so that we can get some measurements and start really planning out what our build is gonna look like here. My goal here with this teardown is really just going to be uh, to strip it down as far as I can, start with a clean slate uh, to get some measurements and start planning out what this interior build is gonna look like here. Well now, one thing that I do really appreciate as I'm starting this teardown already is just how modular it is. It's gonna be something for me to keep in mind with uh, tie downs like these, the ratchet strap style stuff was well secured. I never had anything bouncing or rattling around, but it also makes it really easy to pull out. Um, so that's the big stuff, the camp kitchen's out, the angle fridge, and now uh, I've got these wood platforms that are bolted down into the subfloor. So, Let's start taking care of those. Each of these little wood frames is held down by these L brackets in a number of places. You can see one in the inside corner there. You can see one back there on that one. Uh, I think we'll just start pulling screws, see if we can't get this out of here. Oh, it just barely fits. Uh oh, it doesn't fit like that. Okay, I need a shorter driver bit. That'll be good. Just like that, it is empty back here. We've got everything out. We're down to the subfloor. I want to pull this paneling off the walls too to see what, what we're working with in there. And uh, then we'll be ready to rock and roll and start taking some measurements and designing the interior build of our dreams.
well now we're at a decision point here. I've got the walls out, I've got those little cabinets out. Uh, the only thing that's left in here in terms of build is the subfloor. Part of me wants to leave it in there, but I think the right thing to do at this stage is pull it out. The positive side of pulling it out is I'll get to do a thorough deep clean, and it's actually a really nice template for me to start taking measurements from and getting a sense of a build out without it being in the truck itself. So I think those two points alone are enough to give me the willpower to pull four bolts and get the subfloor out of here. So let's do it. Not just the three bolts, I've got to pull the sill plate from back here. Now that we've got this empty shell to work with, uh, I can really start taking some measurements, maybe doing some cardboard-aided design and visualize what some stuff may look like in here, some different options. I don't think I'm gonna change things up too much. I think generally sort of a bench behind the driver's seat will give Bandit a good place to stick his head out the window here and, and he'll have a home right behind the driver's seat. On the passenger side, we'll do sort of camp kitchen, water, fridge, things like that. I've got some exciting things in store for all these windows. I think we're gonna do that this week, so be on the lookout for that. And uh, it's gonna be a pretty basic build out here. Uh, the roof that we've talked about, it's gonna change. Hopefully soon, the parts should be on a boat on their way here from South Africa, so I'm excited for that. But uh, yeah, I think step number one right now is to get in here and start pulling some measurements and, and sketching out the room we've got to work with. So let's go ahead and do that. Well now, inside at the desk, I wanted to quickly touch on some of the sources of inspiration that I'm drawing from as I think about the design of my Troopy interior fit out. This is really where social media shines in my opinion. Uh, between Instagram, YouTube, and the forums, there is just a wealth of knowledge and experience and people who have truly been there and done that to draw upon uh, so that I can really avoid some pitfalls and, and some mistakes and learn from everyone who's come before me. My Instagram Explore page is pretty much nothing but troopies at this point, and one page that jumped out at me that I really fell in love with instantly is an outfitter based out of Western Australia called Odyssey Custom Fitouts. Troopy interiors are their bread and butter, and I really wish I could get one flat packed and shipped from Perth to California but it's just impossible. When you're dealing with just about 30 square feet of livable space, efficiency and effectiveness of every single design decision becomes critically important. Now, in addition to Instagram, YouTube has been such a valuable resource. I'll link a bunch of different Instagram pages and YouTube channels in the description below, but folks like 4X Overland, Ronnie Dahl, Overland Travelers, Good Day Jambo, and so many others have troopy walkarounds or uh, build journals that they're put, putting up on YouTube 
that are just absolutely phenomenal for inspiration. And then the third and final thing here is forums. Places like I Hate Mud, uh, Expedition Portal, so many places online where folks are sharing their builds, their travel logs, their experiences, and it's a place to ask questions, get answers, really, really valuable resources as well. So with that out of the way, let's jump into what my design is looking like. All right, here is the rough sketch of my initial thinking for the layout of this interior build. The driver and passenger seats are up here, so the front of the truck is towards the top of the screen. One thing I'm concerned about is weight, both the overall weight of this build out as well as the distribution of that weight in the truck. So one thing I'm definitely keeping in mind is things like the power system, the water storage, the fridge, those heavier items, keeping them between the axles uh, is going to be important here. So, so you see that called out here. One thing I also want to do is, is bench seating and storage behind the driver's seat that pulls out into an additional bed in case you need to stealth camp or leave the top down because of inclement weather, whatever it may be. I think it's incredibly valuable to have a bench that turns into a bed down here. And then behind the passenger seat, I'm really focused on built-in storage, camp kitchen, cooking, uh, cleaning, and things like that. And what you can see here, uh, if we move from the top view to sort of a side view of what that camp kitchen may look like, you can see we keep the water system and the water storage low. Uh, above that, we've got some general kitchen boxes or kitchen storage. And then up here, we've got our 12 volt travel buddy oven. We've got uh, maybe an induction burner, maybe a propane burner. I'm still undecided on what the camp kitchen is going to look like here. And then a, a Dometic or similar sink is going to get built in as well. This is rough. There's obviously a lot more thinking and a lot of iteration that needs to go into this, but it's a starting point. Well, there you have it. My initial thinking for this interior build out in the Troopy. It is undoubtedly going to go through countless revisions before I'm ready to make some sawdust and get this Troopy ready to hit the road. So with that said, I would love to draw upon the collective knowledge of this community as well. Let me know in the comments below if there are other sources of inspiration that I should check out or if you've got questions or comments, concerns, tips and tricks or ideas that I should be thinking about for my build. I would love to hear them. And as always, if you like what I'm doing, it's a huge help to hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. There is a lot to come for this build and I'm excited to share every step with you. So subscribe, stick around for a while, and until next time, get out and explore somewhere.